welcome back to Adventures with Conditions. I am headed to this giant building here. <clears throat> this is UCSD Health Medical Center. I am getting my second, um, I can't remember what it's called. I do this every time, Rumicade Infusion. Wait. Um, this will be my second one. I believe after this, I have one in a month and then every two months after that, from what I remember. Um, I'm kind of excited because last time I felt really, really good and I was pretty encouraged um, by the results. So follow along with me. I don't know why, but I like this hallway. So apparently my appointment was at eight o'clock, but my schedule on my phone said differently. So they were actually able to get me in, thank God. Because I don't know what I would have done if they wouldn't have been able to, considering I just drove 45 minutes to get here. Hey, so I just got my IV put in. Um, they are waiting for my infusion medication to be delivered from the pharmacy and then they'll get it started. So this is what I have so far. Just a little bit of saline, which my body absolutely loves. Um, I am going to start watching my guilty pleasure, which is the Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. <laughs> I know. Um, I also absolutely love editing videos here because it is so much faster. The Wi-Fi here is by far amazing compared to at my house at least. Um, it would have taken 233 hours to upload one video when I've already uploaded one within a matter of seconds and the other one is processing right now. So. That's so amazing for me. Um, so yeah, until next time, uh, when they add the infusion medication, I will be back. So I made it out. I'm all finished and I feel really good but I'm really tired. So I'm not sure if they give me something that makes me tired or what but they do give me Zofran and that's not supposed to be as tiring so I am hungry, tired but I'm really glad that I got it done and I have my next appointment for infusions influx i believe it's called um october 20th so come back for that and if there's anything else before then i will be posting about it so i finally got back to home and i wanted to take a brief second to explain why i get these infusions so um my journey started about five years ago i I uh, was having some issues with trigger fingers and well my whole life I've been having some issues with a lot of body pain. Um, let's start there. So I had a lot of body pain my entire life and as a result of that my doctors kept giving me more medication and more medication and more painkillers and more painkillers and more opioids and more opioids. Um, in almost a month. Um, a little tiny bit more than a month, I will be eight years clean from any opioids because of an addiction that was formed. Um, it was an addiction formed because I was in so much pain and no one was helping me. They were sending me to pain management and I did biofeedback and I did 
PT, I did pretty much everything you can think of. Um, and then I just got fed up with it. I got fed up with always doing stuff and nothing was ever working. Uh, then one day, my endocrinologist, um, well, I got a full body flare and was in the hospital for about a week. Um, a flare enough where I, I could barely even talk. I had bruises all over my body. They thought that I had some kind of infectious disease, so they sent out every culture they could possibly think of. They also thought I had Lyme disease. They thought I had all these other things. Well, ends up, I had arthritis. I had inflammatory arthritis, and mm, that took about two more years for me to actually go see a rheumatologist. Um, it was my endocrinologist that sent me there after I was having issues with this finger on both sides locking. Uh, so I got sent to the rheumatologist and from there they diagnosed me with inflammatory arthritis as well as um, seronegative rheumatoid arthritis, meaning I don't have the inflammatory markers that full-blown rheumatoid arthritis has. Um, as a result of that, they started me on methyltrexate. First it was the pills and my stomach just became absolutely unbearable. Then I got the methyltrexate injections, which was also absolutely terrible and really stopped working. Um, that in par with Plaquenil. Um, Plaquenil? Yeah, Plaquenil or hydroxychloroquine, I think that's what they also call it. Um, after that, I did have to change doctors a few times. I am now currently at Inbril, um, and it's my doctor at UCSD that ch that changed it to Inbril. Um, Inbril started, I mean, worked for many years, and I felt really nice on it, but just recently, it just it, it hasn't been working. Um, the flares have gotten worse, and I just am not doing well on it. So that's why we are trying these infusions. Um, so yeah, infusions it is. And uh, now that I'm back home and on my way here, I was so incredibly tired. Um, that's why I'm already in bed because I can't wait to get into bed and take a nap. Uh, yeah, these infusions really make me tired. I think it's just my body working with the medication to try to figure out what the F it is. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the quick story of my adventure with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, yeah, I couldn't be happier of how it's going and I'm very hopeful and encouraged that this is what I need to do to get better.